Okay, so um, we got it. We got a refinery for our desulfurized cracks oil, and today we're gonna be taking care of. Oh, that, that was a mistake. I should not have done that. Well, let's just shove that in there. I'm sure that's, that, that's the exact amount we had in there to start with. So, so today, we're going to be making a bunch of welded steel plates, a bunch of steel grates. We're fractioning today. It's fractioning day. Everybody loves... Wait a second. It's, um, no. It's 316 today. It's pie day. Wait, what? Huh? Are you telling me Pi is not 316? 314. Kidding me? Anyway. <laughs> That's the stupidest joke ever. Get that out of here. Get that garbage out of here. It's, it's just... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Get that garbage out of here. It's, it's stupid. Everybody knows Pi is 314. 15. Something else. <laughs> it's not Pi Day. 316 is not Pi Day. 316 is... I don't even know what day it is. But what I do know is that it's not Pi Day at all. In fact, Pi Day... We, I didn't even do an episode on Pi Day. Pi Day was Wednesday. It's Pi Day round. Ah, oh, I see how it is. I gotta build a circle. Brilliant. Okay, so, um, we're celebrating Pi Day by building a circle here. Uh, this is, this is the best way to celebrate Pi Day. It's by building one of these circles. Look at that circle right there. Boom. So circular. Of course, I'm recording this back-to-back -to, -back to whatever the last episode was. So the last episode was also on 316. Who knows what, 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 what day, what holiday it is on 316. We're celebrating Pi Day here. Oh, the next holiday is the one where you get pinched if you don't wear green. I don't even remember what it's called. But you, I know you get pinched if you don't wear green. So I'm gonna wear green, so none of you can pinch me. I don't really want to be pinched. Okay. So that's that's quite industrial, isn't it? We got, uh, we got... <laughs> Welcome to Oil America. This is... Seriously a great, great... Hold on. Turn that off. Get the garbage out of here. That is the... That's the oil of all time right there. <laughs> this is... Such a refinery. We're just doing different finishing moves on each piece of stuff that we make here. <laughs> it's just... It's, uh, it's getting out of hand. It's quite... G getting quite out of hand. Aromatic hydrocarbons will be sent over there, and the unsaturated hydrocarbons will be sent over to there. The rubber plant. Well, actually, I'll probably make a new chemical plant because I really want to make a load of explosives today. Why? <laughs> I don't really know. I just kind of have that urge to just... You know what? It's it, Today's Pi Day, you know? We gotta celebrate properly by making Composition C4. Like all the... The, um... The great Pi Day people do. I don't know how I like that. I think we'll go up a bit more because it just... I feel like that would, would look better. Don't know. Don't know. Got it. I don't really like going around. I like things that feel more linear versus just hanging with no grab. That looks decent. That looks decent. All right, which is gonna be BTEX and which is gonna be the fun stuff? They so fries later and we'll go on the bottom. <laughs> oh, this is where we get jet fuel. Jet fuel, <laughs> literally jet fuel. Diesel fries. Oh my, high octane diesel. Jet fuel. <laughs> We're literally making jet fuel here. That is really cheap, and jet fuel normally you would have to do a bunch of black magic on it, dark magic, sorcery. Um, here we have jet fuel, mixing kerosene and reformant, which of course requires a vacuum refinery in, in some way, or a catalytic reformer. But here, I don't gotta do any of that crap. I just get jet fuel for free. That's, that's, that's a great deal. They so fries NAFTA. NAPTA. NAPA. Dude, I took a nap yesterday for the first time ever. And... Of course... I usually get up at like... 4 a.m. On weekends. Uh, on weekdays I get up at 3 a.m. And so I get like 6 hours of sleep. 
on weekdays, which really sucks. But well, yesterday, I was very sick, so... So much so that I took a nap. Which I never do. <laughs> okay, so we got BTX. We got High Octane Diesel, again, from both of them, High Octane Diesel. Which, I don't know what we're gonna do with High Octane Diesel. Probably send it into a generator. Th this, this is where the power generation really goes uh, into play here. I would like to make my first ever turbo fan today. Finally. Oh my, that's a pitfall and a half. I'm pretty sure the home department, uh, not the home department, what is it? Um, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like... You know what, the, the joke is not gonna happen if we don't, we can't figure out what it's called. Yeah, it's a home safety violation right there. Oh, it's filled in. Never mind. Turbo fan! Jet engine. This is an expensive piece of technology. But, with afterburners, it is the most insane way to generate power in HBM mod. Well, well, not most insane. It's, it, it, is, it is pretty insane. But the, the, the amount that it generates is insane. And this calls for some of our rocket components. Goodbye, rocket components. You never served us well anyway. How much does this need? Six of them? What, how much? Tell me. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We should build a nuclear bomb today. That seems like a, a great idea. Okay, uh, let's shut up. Now, th this is this looks very concerning, the amount of stuff this needs, but don't worry, because it's the first time I've ever, I'm ever making one, so I know it's going to be very sad to make. And I think we have some of the stuff to make one of them already. <laughs> one of them, which you get those from meteorites, loot, just a wide variety of places. It's very easy to get that. Um... Historically, I have hated making these reinforced turbine shafts. Eight of them. I mean, it's it's quite a lot. I would expect it to be a lot. Interesting. These turbo fans are actually found on aircraft, usually. Okay, so I got another one of these, fellas. And then we take we got to make steel turbine blades, steel. Oh no, not steel. Yeah, we gotta make titanium turbine blades, right? And then reinforce turbine shafts, and then 24 of them, and 12 red copper. Which I, I have red copper in storage, so I'm not worried at all. And this, we have even more of it in storage over at the blasting facility now. I don't feel like blasting is a good word to describe that facility. It is not blasting. That's the nuclear power plant, but I just happen to have an RTG furnace over there, right? I think it needs one more of these to actually balance out, and it does. And from there, we are going to begin with the next template. That being... I don't I don't even know where I put it at. It, it's in here. Expected. And then we need a dash screwdriver. Boom. One surprising thing about this turbo fan jet engine is that it, it does not actually need the annoying substance that is known as what is it called? I don't even remember. It, it just does not need that uh, circuits. It does not need circuits at all, which is great. We're gonna do some math in a second, but first, we need six times eight of these blades. Now, the thing with these is that um, it takes six titanium to make them. We're just gonna shove in this. That will make like three of them, probably. Yeah, it'll make three. So we'll need 24 more titanium ingots, and uh, if we have extra, that's fine. Boom, that gives us 24. Math. Brilliant. And yesterday I talked about how my mouse is just garbage. We might upgrade it in the future, I don't know. Who knows? Dude. Yeah, actually sometimes, sometimes I play these games with a remote instead of using, <laughs> instead of using um, a mouse. Just because I feel like the remote, it, 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 it's less annoying than the mouse sometimes. But it's also equally annoying because it's 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 just garbage sometimes. Sometimes you can't do the the precision you need with a mouse. But when I'm using the mouse, you know, the mouse just does not select things. 
because <laughs> it's because it's very old. All right, so now we're gonna need a, we're gonna need even more stuff. I I forgot to mention that we're going to need this high speed steel. Well, I actually didn't need to mention that at all. You should have just known, huh? Uh, we're gonna need a lot of that today, and I don't seem to have a lot for some reason. I think I saw a bunch of it in this guy. Okay, that's that's where it's at. I just was not paying attention there. Okay, oh, never mind. Steel bolts, some of those. More titanium, even, because it's going to need eight of them, and eight times six is who knows. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Sixty-four minus sixteen then gives you eight times six, and I don't know what that because I can't do math in my head. Well, it's sixty-four minus ten, which gets us down to fifty-four minus six is forty-eight. Okay, that that makes sense. So we're gonna need forty-eight titanium plates. Who knows how much of the other stuff, because I don't really care to calculate it. Doesn't really make a difference. We'll just figure that out as we go. Boom. And that's going to make these... Boom. 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 No. Okay, then. Boom. Ah, I see. I see what we need to do now. Okay, we need to make some more of them. How many of them do we need? We need, like, two more? Oh, yeah. This, this is no problem at all. Used to be way worse. A thunderstorm. Dude, if it's a thunderstorm, that's great weather for running. Too bad. I have who knows what kind of illness. <laughs> How much more are you making? Sixteen of these. This, this is not enough, sir. We're gonna need way more. How many? How many? That's that's only two more. And we need seven. Do we all equally hate turbine blades? What is what? What did you? What is your opinion on turbine blades? Do you hate them too? Because I know I certainly hate them. I hate them the most of all. All right, this should be the seven that we need, like so. It's missing something. It needs, it needs, it needs eight copper plates. Oh, it's missing the template. That's the wrong template. Okay. Okay. So it needs, it needs, it needs um, normal template with lapis lazuli. Or wood tar. Okay, let's take a look. What is it called? Turbo fan. I'm a turbo fan. Okay. Boom. Insane. This is gonna do some crazy stuff. It's gonna be whack. Okay, so the turbo fan is done. Almost. Well, it's it's finishing up now. This thing looks cooler than I remember. It, it has a lot more detail than I remember it having. I remember it looking way different, but that could just be me. Now, the thing with the turbo fan is that you can actually get sucked through this. <laughs> you want to be careful about that, and you can also get burnt by it. So you want to be careful about that. This thing is probably the most dangerous power generation machine, but also one of the best power generating machines, to my knowledge. We, we want... I don't want to get sucked through it. I really don't want to get sucked through it, actually. That, that would be very bad. Getting burnt is fine. Getting sucked through and having your stuff burnt is probably not great. But it is it is possible for that to happen and it's something you should be aware of. That you need to stay clear of it while it's operating. So we're going to pull jet fuel from here. And it's going to just go into this guy like so. I could put up the exhaust pipes. I don't have enough of these. I, I like to make more. I should definitely put up exhaust pipes, actually. And we're gonna go around this way with the exhaust pipes. This place is a massive network of exhaust pipes at this point. And honestly, it's not really worth the, um... I don't really think it's worthwhile. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it to have this many exhaust pipes in this area. Because we don't have an industrial um, one over there. It's just a regular one. <laughs> See, this is hooked up to a regular one. We could switch it out, though. Wouldn't be too difficult. Switch it with that guy, because that guy doesn't run at all. So, to make more of those, we're going to make one, two, three, four iron plates. And then we're going to make uh, ducts for the wonderful stuff. This one. Boom. That's wrong. That's so wrong. Where's my exhaust duct? And why did they just make 
exhaust. Okay. Should make 64 for not very much at cost at all. And it's ready to go almost. We need to put in jet fuel now. Jet fuel. And this can run bale fire rocket fuel. It can run uh, a whole bunch of stuff. This is where you put in the upgrade to make it generate super amounts of energy. Huge amounts of energy, even. And, uh... <sighs> Don't stand in front of it! You, you get sucked through that thing. It's still burning fuel. Oh, okay. We need to... Whoa! <laughs> we're getting blown through! Dang. Okay, so it doesn't set you on fire, it just blows you. I mean, it would probably be very hot, that exhaust. Unless it's going through the exhaust pipes and going out somewhere else. This is 19 meters, 20 meters, 23, 24, 25. That's not gonna work. Here would work. What about here? 23. Is that good? Can I can I do it? There we go. Boom. Okay, now it's draining. Great. Yep. That thing is loud. <laughs> It's so loud, I can hear it from, like, the road. <laughs> That's the loudest machine ever! It's literally an airplane. It's literally an airplane. Now, here's what happens if you stand in front of it, or, like, if something falls in front it just gets sucked through. It does not come out the other side, right? So, do not stand in front of this garbage. It's not gonna be good. But, it's a good way to dispose of garbage. And holy crap, that's launching me very far. In fact, how far would that send me if I just got rid of this tree? It's so like 25 blocks or so? Dude, I am about to get launched into space by a turbofan jet engine. Hold on, let me get let me get into position so I can get a get a full boost here. Ready, set. Okay, it's it's not it's not that fast. It's just really um Yeah. And now it's time for making afterburner upgrades. These are going to make it into a very insane machine. So our first upgrade is gonna be the upgrade itself. Then we're gonna go for the kerosene afterburner upgrade or whatever it is. Boom, this one. Polymer powder, tungsten powder. Which instead of polymer you can just use bakelite. Now let's go ahead and assemble this afterburner, the first one. The second one is going to require circuits, and the third one is going to be super cheap, just requiring dash and uh, not as many circuits. Okay, here we go for the afterburner upgrade mark 2, and then for the three, we're going to need dash and more tungsten powder, which we're going to need two more of that, and some dash, which we do have dash, so it's not too big of a problem. The tier 3 is always easier than tier 2 because it doesn't cost circuits. Unless you have circuits on it, then it's easy to make a tier 2, and less easy to make a tier 3. I don't have the circuits on any, and usually I have the dash on so... Afterburner upgrade, Mark 3, which so you can see, has a picture of a flame on it. That's what it does, this is why it wasn't shooting out flames, I believe. Efficiency, 600%. Consumption, 300%. As you can see, it's afterburner level 3. It's time for us to empty the high-octane diesel from these machines. So this one is gonna be very insane. Let's take out the high-octane diesel. Uh, it should, should be making the stuff. It is not. But yes, it's quite literally 6 times the 9.6 million HE. Well, it's more like 2 times really, but... Or well, 3 times... Three times. It's two times. Two times. 